environmental degradation in Kenya comes from rampant deforestation, leading to droughts, floods, soil erosion, and increased human poverty. To counter deforestation and conserve the ecosystem, Kenyans are embracing the culture of production of tree species, especially in the drylands. Melia volkensai, almost similar to mahogany, is one such indigenous tree species. Our interest in Melia as a tree crop uh, is based on the fact that in dryland ecosystems, such as this area, Kibwesi area, the Greater Makweni, you do not have a lot of options in terms of the range of species that you can easily grow here. Jonathan Kituku is a melia farmer in Kibwezi. He has over 12,000 melia trees, which have grown from a colony of about 400 only in the last six years. He expects to earn much money when the trees mature for harvest. He, alongside other farmers, have been receiving extension services from the Kenya Forestry Research Institute to train them on best farm practices, such as spacing and pruning, to avoid competing with other crops for light. Melia is widely considered as a potential plantation in agroforestry species in the semi-arid areas. The tree takes 10 to 15 years to mature. However, selected harvesting can be done after 8 years. However, it has not been widely planted owing to its germination dormancy. But carefree researchers have developed techniques to enhance melia germination and the use of locally available materials such as cow dung, sand, soil organic matter, ash and waste water are beneficial. We have to rapidly recruit melia into the farming systems. That is why we have been working on very, testing various provenances, various varieties of melia. We are collecting the seed of melia from wherever it is growing in this greater area, trying to bring them into the nursery, trying to understand their, the genetic constitution. Farmers have been relying on traditional methods of raising melia volcansi seedlings, which heavily depend on natural regeneration. But plants are underway to domesticate the tree to maximize on its benefits. Melia is used for timber, fodder, fuel wood and wood carving. Farmers are urged to intercrop with other plants. By promoting tree cultivation, farmlands enhance nutrient cycling, pest control, pollination and biodiversity conservation, which assist in creating the conditions needed for food. For farmers in the drylands, a failed harvest can mean months of malnutrition and hardships. But when trees are intercropped with food crops, then Farmers are likely to get a reprieve because the trees are likely to survive months of droughts owing to their hardiness. Rosalia Pondo for Channel One, Earthwatch.